Hey YouTube, welcome to Kina Cole TV. Today, we're making a merit headboard using no tools. You heard me, no tools. Let's get into it. Check out this full size merit headboard that I made. This project is super easy and affordable. I bought most of my supplies from the dollar store. And here's a list of the supplies. I used a full sheet of one and a half SPS foam board, which I bought from Home Depot for $24. This particular foam board comes pre-scored, which is easy to break apart to transport. I used my tape measure to measure 54 inches across and 32 inches from top to bottom. I used my T-square and marker to draw a straight line and then used my utility knife to cut the board. I used a paint sponge brush to apply the glint and gripper to seal the SPS foam board together. Make sure the board is evenly lined up, then use the duct tape to hold the board together while the glint and gripper dry. SPS foam board is perfect for this project because it's lightweight and sturdy and easy to cut without using a saw. But the downside is, is that you cannot use any glue that has acetone or hot glue because it will melt the foam. So I'm using duct tape to cover the entire top of the board and aluminum tape as decoration to cover the sides and the edges. Now watch me work. Next, I'm using foam poster board and three and a quarter mirrors that I found at the dollar store for a border. I'm placing two mirrors side by side on the foam poster board to mark the width. I then use my T-square and a Zacto knife to cut the strips, placing the foam boards around the edge of the board. Now watch me work. So I measured the width of the rod to leave space around the edge of the board. I hot glued the foam boards together. Then using the E6000 and hot glue, I glued the foam boards down to the board. I cut off the excess foam using my exacto knife. Now watch me work. I placed and arranged my mirrors evenly around the foam poster board. I used a total of 66 mirrors. I then glued them down with my hot glue gun. Now watch me work.
Next, I lined the dowels around the inner and outer part of my mirror border. I used a glue gun to glue the dowels together and used the X-Acto knife to cut off the excess. Painted the dowels with white acrylic paint using a paint sponge brush. I like using acrylic paint for small projects because it's inexpensive and it dries fast. Once the paint dried, I hot glued the dowels around the edge of the mirror of the border. Guys, remember to be very careful using a hot glue gun. The glue is super hot, and I burnt myself a couple of times. Next, I hot glued two foam poster boards together side by side so it can fit in the middle of the headboard. And I cut off the excess foam board using the X-Acto knife and the T-square so it can fit perfect. Next, I place my fabric on the foam poster board, making sure my fabric is even all around the board. I then cut off the excess fabric with my scissors, leaving about an inch to glue underneath the foam poster board. If you like, you can cover your board with batting first and then the fabric, but I chose not to. Also, remember to always start in the middle when gluing your fabric and leave the corners for last. Now watch me work. How cute is this fabric? I use it because it's light, it's a little stretchy, and it's sequins. I love anything that sparkles. Now it's time to glue the fabric board to the center of the headboard. I use E6000 and hot glue. Don't forget to press down the fabric board so the glue can bind. Now watch me work.
I use glass cleaner and a paper towel to clean off all my fingerprints and smudges. I wanted to add a little extra design, so I found these little tiny mirrors from the dollar store also, and I glued them in between the center of each mirror. You can use rhinestones or buttons, but this step is optional, but I always like to be a little extra. <laughs> I placed magazines on top of the fabric board as weight while I hot glued my mirror trim. Okay guys, we're done. Here's our full size mirror headboard. How cute. And if you like my work, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.